You get everybody staring for days All they see is just a young pretty face But I'm trying to get to know you much better Don't matter how much time it will take But there's something you're trying to hide a bit of a shaky quaky start. I'm having some uh, issues yet again with <clears throat> the uh, fire alarms just apparently going off. Apparently there's some, I don't know, pipe or something that uh, it gets too warm and the, who knows. Um, suffice it to say, the thing goes off at like 2 a.m. and it's not just an alarm. It is a shrill shrill ongoing I mean you know cats and dogs rolling over in agony at the at the pitch kind of a, of a sound um, and it's an inconvenience you know you have you're pulled out of bed you know that it's not a real real fire and uh, I mean thank God right and uh, you know it's like the prime hours of slumber right so basically it's like okay this is gonna wreak havoc I've got to go outside you know in my sleepwear amongst all of my apartment uh, co-residents here and uh, hang out until the fire department gets here and deactivates it but you know another way you can look at it and how I've been coping if you will these these things are, are merely that, you know, they are merely an inconvenience. But, you know, while, and while that was, uh, while that's a huge inconvenience, you know, it's merely that. It's an inconvenience. Being woken up in the, in the middle of the night and having to, to stand outdoors for two hours, I mean, there are people in this world where alarms are going off all of the time and, you know, terrible things are really happening outside of their door, like death and destruction. And it just serves to remind you of your blessings, basically. But um, I sh sure will be extra blessed when they get that uh, that situation remedied. <laughs> um, I, I, nothing like having having your deep sleep uh, disrupted. But uh, all of you no new moms and dads and grandparents out there are probably like, <laughs> join the club. It's me all night, every night. But. Anyways, I got a crazy kind of busy day today, um, and I think I'm going to go to H Mart today, so I'll take you guys along that journey. This morning I um, did a Tone It Up workout and had my beauty dust, coffee, so that's what's going on. I'm debating if I should go to Walmart. No, I think I'm going to go to H Mart, all the marts. I haven't been to a Kmart in a long time, but they still exist. Um, I used to enjoy getting the Martha Stewart uh, living, kind of her, like her lineup of dishes at Kmart. They were actually pretty good quality. I still have them and they last a long time. Um, and they're, they're tasteful for, you know, what you might expect from Kmart. Um, but, you know, Walmart's kind of stepped up their game in the past few years. I haven't, you know, I don't typically shop there, but sort of stepped up their game as far as uh, the quality of offerings, just kind of the diversity. And the last time I was in, in Walmart in the grocery section, I was like, goodness gracious, this is, uh, this is rather bountiful in comparison to the, the Walmarts when I was growing up, um, you know, had slim pickings, but uh, they've really uh, just upped up their game in recent years. Clothing-wise, they had some interesting choices as well. But anyways, I uh, will check in with you guys when I get where I'm going.
guys. I ended up, uh, that was just Jessica that I was in, um, but I didn't care for the prizes in there. I didn't think they were as good as what H Mart has, so I buzzed over here to H Mart, and I'm just about to head out. I'm kind of in a in a rush here, but I got some of these Apple Longan candies to try, so I thought I would try one out here. How cool, they're individually wrapped. How pretty are these? They're little hard candies. Ooh, those are really good. Really good. All right, buzz onward and upward. You guys, I won't uh, film this woman walking on the uh, on the sidewalk here over here, but uh, she epitomizes the, the key step that is left out of the Korean 10 step uh, or seven step method. And it is sun protection. That woman has on a broad brimmed hat that uh, makes me look, makes me look like a, uh, tanner yeah that woman has on a broad brimmed hat that uh really i mean she's got such a, a rim of protection there her skills are good long sleeve she was donning and sun protective gloves as well um you know this is a key step of the korean 10 step skincare method she has got a good game uh, that is the key step honestly to that to uh to healthy skin protecting it from, uh, from all the sunlight. four gala apples that come in these little styrofoam things for whatever reason there. I'm gonna get those washed up and dried and put away in the fridge. I also got some of these enoki mushrooms that I really enjoy a lot. Um, as I've mentioned before, they're so wonderful in recipes and they end up coming out like noodles. I got some five spice powder. Um, I've been wanting some of this and this looked like a good one. It's uh, just basically star anise, cinnamon and cloves, peppercorn and fennel seeds. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't have any salt in it. I don't like salt in my seasoning. So um, I was happy to find that. I got some seaweed from Korea. I also got some small red beans. And I had forgotten the last time I went to H Mart to get more goji berries. So I got another bag of these uh, dried organ organic goji berries. They last me a really long time. So happy to have them back in my life. And then I really love these pea sprouts that I get at H Mart. Uh, I get two bags of them. They're really inexpensive and they just taste delicious on everything. I got a bag of bok choy or baby bok choy, I think this is. I got a head of cabbage and look how cute my potatoes are. I got these little um, purple potatoes like I showed in that Buddha bowl recipe. I got some more of those, but they're little. They're so cute. I like this little finger one. And I also got some Japanese sweet potatoes. I got a head of cabbage. At each point they wrap it up in this saran wrap, which is kind of nice. Um, for storage purposes. I also got um, a bag of the kelp noodles that I like um, that I just love in like soups and salads. Um, I really like these in soups the best because they soften up quite a bit when you um, pour the hot uh, soup broth on, on top and they taste just like noodles. And combined with the combined with the enoki mushrooms, they're a lot like they're a lot like a noodle soup. So I got some of those. Um, I got another bag of the yam noodles that you all know I love so much as well. I think these shirakiku ones are really good that I get there. So I got another bag of those. I got a white onion. I got some of the shirakiku um, black sesame seeds because I'm out of those and I enjoy sprinkling these on oatmeal quite a bit and uh, just on salads and soups and pretty much everything. I really, really like, like these. They have a nice flavor. And then I got these cute little um, Indian purple eggplants. <laughs> I 
Indian eggplants, I guess uh, they were called. And I got some more lotus root, which comes in the deli container. And I also got some of these little soy wrappers. These are, it says they're vegetarian friendly, but they're vegan. I looked at the ingredients and they're so cute. There is spinach green, original paprika orange, sesame, and turmeric yellow. Um, and they have these cute little mini sushi rolls that they make out of them. So I thought that would be fun um, to have at some point. A bit of an impulse purchase, but they look like fun and they weren't too expensive. <laughs> I got some more rice vinegar. And then lastly, one of you nice people um, pointed out in the, um, in the comments of my uh, video on my smoothie bowl when I was using the rice cakes and, and crumbling them up to make um, a little crunchy topping for my smoothie bowl, you pointed out that I can actually get the popped uh, rice cereal that's just plain rice at the Asian grocery store, like H at, the, at the Asian grocery, grocery stores such as H Mart. So H Mart had this one, um, I'm not sure how to say that name, Hyorim, Hyorim. Um, uh, it looks really good. It's just, you know, brown rice. So thanks, Korea, <laughs> for sending it to me. <laughs> and thank you to the viewer who notified me. <laughs> well, hey, guys. I got my groceries put away and finished up some work. And now I'm headed out to um, the monthly meeting of the Houston Dermatologic Society. I really look forward to these, to these meetings. Um, they usually have um, some pretty good talks that I enjoy and um, usually have uh, case presentations at the beginning and uh, of interesting cases in dermatology from all the, the different uh, dermatologists in the area and throughout Houston. Houston's a, a lot of, uh, got a lot of dermatology so I like to see, see what other people are seeing and uh, then they have a big talk that's usually something along the lines of uh, kind of practice C management, continuing medical education type thing. It is at a restaurant called the Black Labrador. I've been there before for another similar type event um, that uh, I went to, oh, I can't remember when, it's a while back. And the restaurant's like, it's actually by the library that we go, my mom and I go to. And uh, the restaurant has, uh, it's like a British pub style restaurant. Um, it, but they actually will serve vegan vegan options. Uh, they're pretty accommodating. Uh, I don't know that they're gonna have that this time, so uh, whatever. But I look forward to it. I hope you guys like my grocery haul. Um, and uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I'm gonna be out pretty late. Um, and uh, I hope you liked it. If you loved it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.